more Valley workers are waiting to learn the fate of their jobs as GM Lordstown prepares to go down to just one shift. Suppliers are expecting to now feel the ripple effect. Lindsay McCoy has the very latest and new insight from auto industry insiders in Detroit. Lordstown isn't the only place GM is slowing down its production lines. With a downturn in sales, the Hamtrak assembly plant in Detroit and the Lake Orion plant in Michigan are also down to one shift. And an industry analyst believes the company will need to make a decision about Lordstown soon. I would think sometime within about the next year, they would probably be looking to get some more products in there. With a Cadillac crossover SUV going to a GM car plant in Kansas later this year, he says it's a sign that a crossover SUV could work with the crews. I just think that it would be more likely that they would look to Lordstown as a place they could add a product um, rather than get rid of it entirely because they're still selling the crews in, in high numbers. It's just not as high of numbers as it used to sell. While workers here wait to learn what could eventually be in store for Lordstown's future, many are now preparing for layoffs, including those who work for a local supplier. A lot of them are really concerned right now. 170 workers at Comprehensive Logistics in Austin Town lost their jobs when GM cut its third shift last year. And this summer, they're expecting more. You're looking at, you know, potentially over 100 workers that are now going to be thrown back into a tough job market right now. Talks with the employer haven't started yet, but Arroyo predicts the layoffs will last into next year. With more local news, I'm Lindsay McCoy.